So, you want to know how to tune and clean up your vocals inside a cakewalk? Keep on watching this video. How could you hang me for granted? A little bit more. How could you hang? What's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. What's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys how to go ahead and tune your vocals using auto tune inside of cakewalk as well as i'm going to show you guys how to add a little eq a little compression you know some things to make a r&b vocal sound good now i'm going to be doing a whole mixing series showing you guys how to mix an r&b song inside of this software so you want to make sure right now that you give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to get more videos like this in the future let's jump into it all right so as you guys seen in the other video i pretty much showed you guys how to Import your vocals and kind of organize things or whatever to get things ready for the mixing phase So now what we're gonna do is just focus on a particular vocal I'm gonna show you guys how I would add some EQ some tuning some compression some reverb, etc And then we'll do later stuff in more videos like you know the hook the pre course all those different things Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So right now. Here's a raw vocal that I did How could you take me for granted? Okay, so very basic, simple, dry vocal, right? All right, so what do we want to do? First, we want to get this thing tuned. Uh, not that it really needs to be tuned, but we want to clean it up a little bit just to give it a little more character. So you want to go ahead and hit Alt 2, or you can just pretty much go in and, you know, go to Views and hit Alt 2 here. That's going to bring up your window for your console or your mixer. So I know that the lead vocals right here. So we want to go ahead and get the vocal tuned. So let's just go ahead and hit this plus button right here. Boom. Now we're going to go to insert. And once you go to insert, insert audio effects, we are going to go down to whatever one you may have. Uh, we can just go ahead and pull up, you know, the auto tune in here. Melodyne, whatever you have, it may work. Okay. Just use what you can use. So I know me, I am a alto tenor. And... We are going to go with the minor scale because that's what the keys are in. And that's, I believe this song is in a B flat. Um, so now what you want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn the tracking down. And I'm going to play what I got for right now. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another life. As you can see, I don't even really need the auto tune. It's not really doing a whole lot for me, but say if I just wanted to over exaggerate a little bit. So let's just go ahead and boost the retune speed to make me sound even more auto tune ish. Let's try it out. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another. It's a cool effect, but it's not something that I'm going for in this song, okay? So if you want more auto-tune or more auto-tune-ish sound, then you turn the retune speed all the way down to zero. If you want less, you cut it back. So let's go ahead and cut it back. How could you take me for granted When you know that you won't need another That sounds very natural. I love the way that that sounds. Uh, but I may go for a little bit more. So what I want to do in the process is I'm going to go around 17. And then what I want to do is I want to humanize myself and make myself sound a little more human like myself. Okay, so we're going to turn humanize up. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another life. Yes, I absolutely love that. Love the way it sounds. It sounds great. So now with the natural vibrato, if you have too much vibrato going on and your vocals are natural vibrato, all you got to do is cut back. So let's go ahead and cut it back. How could you take me for granted when you know that you won't need another Of 
Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. So that sounds, that sounds great. Okay. So I'm going to leave that for right now. I may even come down on the human eyes a little bit more and add a little more vibrato because I still kind of want it. I like the vibrato that I had before with my natural voice. It was very subtle. So I just kind of want to keep that. How could you take me for granted? Okay, in later tutorials, I'm going to show you guys some advanced stuff on how to go ahead and tune vocals in a graphical mode and auto-tune, which is really, uh, it's a little bit more advanced, but I think you have a lot more control, and it's fun, okay? So I'm going to show you guys that later. So after doing that, I'm just going to leave that as is because I think it sounds great like that. So now what I want to do in the process is I want to go ahead and brighten those vocals up a little bit. So I am going to find me an EQ. And one of my favorite EQs, whether you use a you know one from this program or whatever, I personally love uh, the REQ, the Renaissance EQ from uh, Wave. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. How could so I'm just gonna roll some of the uh, high pass filter to roll some of the low end off. How could you take me for granted when you know that you want me to know that nice now i do so we're gonna have it to about 94 hertz and then what i want to do is take a little bit of the low mids out but not much because i kind of like the warmness of my vocals already but we're just going to take some of it out how could you take me for granted when you know that you want me to know Nice, nice. So now what I want to do is go ahead and give it some top end. So we're going to go to the high mid frequencies and the high frequencies and kind of give it a little more um, top end and clarity. How could you take me for granted? So I'm going to go around about 5,000, 5,500 uh, kilohertz. How could you take me for granted? And I'm going to boost it around two. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you want me to know that like me. Nice. So now I'm going to just give it a, t a little more top end over 10,000 kilohertz. And I'm just going to boost it to one, one dB and see if that's just going to give me a little more top end. How could you take me for granted? Okay, that sounds great. Uh, if, let's hear it without it. How could you take me for granted? With it. When you know that you want me to know that. So it helps us sit in that mix just a little bit more. So now what I want to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and add some compression to this vocal. I mean, there's so many different compressors out there. Uh, I absolutely love uh, different compressors out there. But uh, for, for me, I'm going to probably go with the CLA 2A or 3A. How could you take me for granted? Definitely boosted the vocal a lot. So what I want to do is go ahead and turn the peak reduction down. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you want me to know that like me. You ain't fucking with no little boy. You dealing with a man. Nice. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you want me to know that like me. Okay, so I'm pretty, I'm good with that right now. I feel like the vocal is still compressed. It's kind of sitting over the beat just a little bit. Uh, I feel like it, it's present now. Let's listen to it again without that compressor. How could you take without me it? for granted? With it. Nice. So it actually really brought that vocal out and made that vocal stand out. That's something that I love to see. Okay. So now what we want to do is go. 
uh, in the process is we want to add, you know, maybe some um, maybe some reverb in a process. And let me go ahead and we want to go ahead and add some of that reverb. OK, so we're going to hit the send button here and we're going to create a new aux track. This new aux track down here, we're just going to go ahead and rename that to reverb. Uh, so we know exactly what we're doing. And then in the process, we are going to go in and we are going to find a reverb that we feel is going to work best in this situation. Now, I like the Sinitis reverb. Um, so I could do that. But Cakewalk also has one. And then Waves has one as well. So, I mean, maybe we just need to see what our options are. I mean, let's see what the Sinitis has to offer since it comes with the software. How could you take me for granted? So I know for me, I want to add a little more reverb. How could you take me for granted? But I also want the room size to come down some. And then I want to go ahead and go to the particular level. I want to change this to pre-fader. And then I want to go ahead and pull back on a send. How could you take me for granted? This sends level here is going to control how much reverb you're actually sending to that vocal. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another like me. Okay, so I'm going to boost the room size some more. Then let me add a little pre-delay. How could you take me for granted? That's not bad. Now let me go ahead and add a little bit more reverb. How could you take me for granted? Because I'm trying to go for a wet signal, but I don't want the full signal to be wet. Just more so of the tail so we can go in and kind of change some of the low cut of where we want that to actually cut back on uh, in a high cut as well. So if I cut this back, the more I do this, uh, the higher than the more that reverb is going to cover that frequency. But the more I cut back, it's not. OK, how could you take me for granted? Same thing in the low mid frequencies as well. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another like me. You can turn a decay time up so it lasts a little bit longer. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another like Nice. So that's a really nice wet signal. Now I can use a whole bunch of reverbs, but I think for right now, that one sounds pretty good. So I'm going to keep it for right now. So I'm just going to cut back just a little bit more. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another like me. Okay. So now what I want to do is I can go in now and pretty much add a delay so i'm gonna go here add another aux track name it to delay boom after i get that delay in there next thing i want to do from there is just go ahead and go into um finding me a delay that i feel is going to work best for this song or this circumstance so we are going to go into delay and go down to um age delay is always really good you know to start with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it to be able to hear it. OK, so I can get the delay to match the song. How could you take me for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna go here. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it. It's a matter of time. So now I'm gonna change the delay. I'm gonna do it to a slower time. How could you take it to the ground? And I'm going to change the filters of it because I want the delay signal to sound differently than my actual vocals. OK, so that's why I'm changing the high pass and the low pass filters to make my vocal sound different. How could you take me for granted? 
So I'm going to add a little more feedback because I wanted to delay a couple more times. How could you hang me for granted? A little bit more. How could you hang me for granted? Yeah, that's real nice and subtle. That's that's what I like. So now I'm going now I'm gonna make this pretty fader and I'm gonna go in and change this. How could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't need another like me. Now how could you take me for granted? When you know that you won't like me you ain't fucking with no little boy you did so I'm just gonna cut the beat down just a little bit how could you take me for granted when you know that you won't need another like me so I'm loving the way that that sounds right now so now if I wanted to add just a little bit more clarity to the vocal not that i would need to add any more clarity to it what i want to do is just kind of give it just a little bit more so i'm gonna go in and find maybe uh let me see you know there's just so many different we can even do the the q6 How could you How so could we're gonna you go to this frequency here and then we are gonna change it to this one here how could you take me for granted and i'm gonna boost it around uh 40 at least 45 at least 45 so let's just go ahead and double click that 4500 and we're gonna boost it around 2 db or, or 1 db how could you take me for granted You won't need another like me. Guys, I'm I'm pumped up about this right now. Like there's just so many things that I want to do for this tutorial and all these videos. But guys, that is pretty much it. And that's all I'm going to show you for this video. Stay tuned for the future videos because I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and mix pre-choruses, hooks, the whole nine yards. Guys, I'm going to make your music sound A1. With that being said, hit that subscribe button right now because you definitely don't want to miss this, okay? So, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. How could you take me for granted When you know that you won't need another like me You ain't fucking with no little boy, you dealing with a man all right, guys, so that's it for the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to be bringing you that fire. With that being said, you see how good this is already sounding. Guys, if you want me to mix and master your music, then I highly recommend that you email me right now. My email will be in the description box. Guys, go ahead and either email me to get services for mixing and mastering because I will put that sauce on your song as well as if you are looking for a custom template inside a cakewalk to go ahead and have something to record with, maybe to know you know some type of structure for your tracks then guys i am the one that's going to get that done for you i will give you guys all rates i will try to help you guys out but guys this is a business i got to provide for my family at the same time i'm trying to help you out get your music out there get you known so guys take me up on an offer email me right now stay tuned for the next video because i'm gonna be bringing you that far you do not want to miss it stay tuned for the next video I'm here you saying you buzzing I got a few hives And I ain't stand for nothing I gotta use time wisely And I don't care If you don't like me Man who gon' fight me It's game time So I threw on Nikes My crew on Icy The Mighty Ducks Who want hockey So many goals and hat tricks Move on by me Who gon' sign me Matter of fact I'm too darn pricey So much money Who got it for me Who gon' bribe me I told you to FaceTime And now You gon' Skype me I'm on some Capricorn shit ma and you on pisces so i got a scorpio that make a food on spicy and it's funny how my lingo really grew on white